Hey everyone, NWA Prepper here. So, <clears throat> tonight I am helping a, a youth activity, helping with a youth activity, and I am tasked with sharing with some youth how to set up their tents, uh, where to set them up, things to look for, and then the process of setting up a tent. So it sounds super easy, right? I mean, they're tents. How hard can they be? Well, I, uh, I have heard many people many, many times say that. <clears throat> How hard can it be? And then they have not been able to set up their tent in an, an efficient manner, in a timely manner. So the tent that we're, we're gonna do, and I'm not gonna show everyone all of this because there'll be kids in, in the video. Um, I just It's just a basic dome tent, nothing crazy about it. It's a seven foot by seven foot is a footprint. Supposedly sleep slurry, that never really happens. Um, Yeah, I mean, there's nothing. It is just a normal uh, one season tent. It may be a two season, but it's not a winter tent. It's a real lightweight. I mean, it's a lightweight tent. Made by Magellan Outdoors. I say that's who it's made, boy. Anyway. It's just a basic dome tent. And so that's the most common style of tent. And so that's what I'm going to be showing them. Now there's there's much different tents. I prefer a geodome tent. Uh, I have a wall tent that is great, but for normal short term outings, the dome tents are, are good. And for here, um, this one will be okay. I do, so I'll show you some of the things about this one. So the rain fly doesn't go all the way down. And that's one of the differences I believe in a, in, in what makes a tent a three season tent is that fly doesn't come all the way down. So that, and it doesn't have a vestibule or a covered, uh, porch area. Excuse me. Excuse me. So because of those two things, the tarp doesn't go all the way down. And if, I don't know if you hear that wind, but because of the wind uh, in a storm, then the water, the rain, can get up under the under the rain fly relatively easy. So it's not a great stormy weather or cold weather tent. <clears throat> but it was inexpensive and it's a good summertime tent. And, you know, and most importantly, it's a great tent to learn on. They were inexpensive. <clears throat> I say that, I mean, it was not the cheap little kid's tent, but it wasn't much more than that. And I have something terrible in my eye other than my finger. But, uh, so we're going to set that up and build their confidence. So when they get older or when they get out, then they know how to, to do a basic tent. And then they can build on those skills, both as they get older or into other activities. The same thing is for you and, and your preparedness. If you plan on, well, if you, it doesn't matter. If you plan on bugging out, or even if just going to your bug out location, shelter is important. It's one of the top things you need to survive. Um, air, shelter, water, and food. And so if you're not proficient building a shelter, it's nice to have, even if it's just a real basic tent like this. Um, and I don't know the weight on this. It's heavy, I mean, I, I'm a wuss and it's not that heavy, but I wouldn't want to carry it for 100 miles. Well, or 20 miles. 
but it's certainly better than nothing. So that's what we're going to look at. You need to be thinking of shelter. And if you have shelter at your bug out location, or if you're, you're bugging in, you're staying at your house, it's still good to have extra shelter options. And in this tent, of course, like I say, this is just a basic tent, but I have a ground cloth in there. Already part of something I've already added into this bag because I think they're important. You never want to put your tent somewhere that looks like there's drainage there, you know, runoff water or near a creek or, you know, things. And sometimes those are the best places to look. You're like, oh, those are exciting. But don't put your tent or your shelter in a natural runoff area. You want to look above you and make sure there's no dead trees or snags that can fall in the wind and land on your tent. Um, because that would be, could spell disaster. <clears throat> Use a ground cloth and never put them away wet. And if you do, then it's a good right to uh, take them out after you get home and, and let them dry out. Real basics on tents, they're important. I think everyone needs to at least be familiar with them, which is why I'm taking this basic tent design and I am uh, gonna teach a class to some kiddos this evening and start to get them familiar with setting up their own shelters, uh, getting them in, in a different mindset of, instead of mom and dad doing this for me, this is something that they can do. And then later in the road, we'll even get to emergency shelters and lean-tos and debris huts and things like that. But we're starting nice and easy with a regular dome tent. What do you guys think about tents? What's your favorite style? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's get ready.